Hi, I'm Neil of Team Teacher, teaching, living and raising a family in China. In this video, we're looking at a month's PowerPoint lesson. Let's check it out. So as always, I start my classes with the rules slide where we go over the rules with the students and I advise if they follow the rules, uh, we'll have a reward at the end of the class. And then we're going into a month's PowerPoint PPT lesson. So here I'll ask them if they know the months, uh, what that means and stuff like that. And this particular uh, lesson is aimed for uh, like middle to higher grades of the public uh, elementary and primary schools in China. January. So I'm going to go through each month. February. And what I'm going to do is first go over the pronunciation. March. And I'll use uh, finger counting for that. So February uh, to count out the syllables with the fingers. It helps them remember. April. And I'm also going to be asking them what month it is, like per number. So day one, uh, month one, month two, month three. May. And each month. June. I'm going to ask them. July. What happens in this month? What can they tell me about this? August. September. So we go through all the months uh, and that takes a little bit for the presentation and then we're going to go into a song called the Month Arena. Basically it's the Macarena, it's the dance from the Macarena except we're using the months of the year uh, for the lyrics uh, along with the dancers. So it's a good way for them to physically uh, uh, associate the months with uh, moving their body and I think any way to get across uh, the vocabulary and to link it not, not just you know by listening or seeing but also um, by body movement is good the more ways that you can tackle it the better so we do the the video the dance we dance along and we sing and then we come back to uh, months quiz so this one's going to be quizzing them about stuff we've talked over the months, uh, when Halloween is, uh, what is the month after July, uh, what is the sixth month, all that sort of thing. Just different variations that they've got to work out in their head, but it is multiple choice. So they've, they've got something to um, prompt them. All of these have probably been pre-taught at some point during the, the previous year or this year. Uh, so that's something you've got to be aware of as well. And then I'm going to say happy birthday and I'm going to tell them what my birthday month is. And then I'm going to ask them what their birthday month is and get them to tell me um, that when their birthday is and stuff. And once we've kind of moved through this quickly, uh, we're then going to go into a birthday month video game. Uh, so this particular game is moving around with the, the months, putting the people in order and stuff like that. But there are lots of stuff out there. Uh, I just wanted something at this point to break up the questions um, and do something where they get moving around. And then we're going back to uh, more more questions, but this one we're grouping the months. So what are the months for autumn? We're doing it based on the seasons. And then I've got a bit of a rhyme to help them remember and it's the rhyme that I used to remember when I was a kid. Uh, it's pretty rhythmical, uh, so I find that it's very good for just about any speaker of English to remember. Sometimes I actually sh uh, cut it down to 30 days have September, April, June and November, all the rest have 31, um, because you just have to remember that February is just a bit different sometimes. And then we have a, a bomb game that's uh, based on around the theme of Mario uh, and that's on our bomb game page. And it's uh, just a different way of approaching the vocabulary in a fun gamification manner. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel and remember to check the link below uh, to download the PPT if you so wish. Bye bye.